Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today, we are going to be painting this super cute, um, it's kind of like a minimalist mountain wave thing that we have going on here. It's got a couple different layers in it, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. We'll probably go a little bit faster than we normally do, but um, then at the end, we get to use the gold pen, and I love using the gold pen. So, our colors today are phalo green, phalo blue, turquoise, black, orange, yellow, and white. And our brushes are always our favorite brushes. Our favorite brush, our big daddy brush right here. Here is our, what Nico calls the mama brush. And we have a little teenager and a little baby brush. We probably won't be using the baby brush here. We might be using the teenager. Definitely the big daddy. Okay. So let's start with that brush. What we're going to do first is we're going to choose the one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six layers. So what you can do is kind of take a wet brush and just mark off some areas that you want. If you want to use pencil, you could use pencil for that too. Totally up to you. So I'm going to start down here because I'm going to need this area here dried before this one. So I'm going to start down here with the dark. So we're going to take that phalo blue and just scoop it up there on your brush and then just paint down here. You don't have to add the texture in. I mean, if you want, you can add a little bit of the wave, which is fine. But we don't have to do much here because we're gonna add the wave in. So just hit it like this. And I grabbed a smaller canvas for this one just so that it doesn't take me as long because it is a little bit more um, intense. What I like to do too is just paint my bottom. So I flip it over like this and just paint the bottom. I do this because if we hang it up on the wall, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to clear my throat. If we hang it up on the wall, then it will not be white. So it'll look all the way wrapped around. Okay. I can set it right here. It's not going to stick. If you're more comfortable drying it, maybe with a hair dryer or just leaving it to hang on the back till it dries, you can do that. All right. We are going to actually take a little bit of black too and mix it with a little bit of blue and just add very, very light. You don't want a lot of black in here. You don't want to darken it up too much, but you see how it just added that like soft, darker depth. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Because now we're going to go into a lighter color and we don't want to mix it too much with black. So we're just going to rinse our brush off. What I like to do is just rub it at the bottom of the cup, get it super loose, kind of like you're washing your hair. So this one, we're going to take a little bit of blue and a little, well, turquoise, and a little bit of green, and then I'm going to add some white to it. I like to have that, like, hint of green in there, if you can see. It just adds a different color. Makes this and that, you know, a little bit different there. I'm going to follow the line. Up here, I'm just going to kind of go do that same thing. Better not make them too big because I'm not going to have enough room for all the other layers if I start to do them too big. If you go too big, that's okay. You can paint right over it with your next color. This one is smooth, nice and smooth. There's no, like, texture in it. You don't have to get all sloppy with it. Just kind of go smooth all the way across like this. Okay. Mix up more. If you need to mix up a little bit more, mix it up. No big deal. 
we'll be using, we won't be using this color again. Never mind. I thought we would. So again, I didn't paint this painting. Abby painted this painting. <laughs> she, she paints more than I do um, in the shop where she has like a little bit more downtime. She does a lot of private lessons. So me, I'm like always trying to rush to do everything, but it works out. It works out. We balance each other out. Okay. Next color, rinse that brush again. You don't have to get this one super rinsed this time because we're just going to go back into that dark. And it kind of goes like this. Again, just go light with that blue. Oh my gosh, I still feel like I have other layers. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down into here a little bit. See how I just covered that up? It's okay. You guys hear my brush? I feel like it's like super loud. It's kind of early in the morning. Not really, it's like 1030. But if you know, I don't really talk before like 11. So it is early for me. If anyone calls my phone this early, I normally don't answer. I just side click you and tell you to call me when I can talk. I'm going to add a little bit of black. When I do this color, I just throw it on there. I want it to be kind of sloppy. So what I'm doing is quick, you know, strokes because I want it to look like there's a little texture in there. And then the same with down here too, you know, you can come back in and add that little bit of messy and let this dry. I didn't go all the way through here because now I'm going to go into my next layer. Remember I made this layer a little bit too fat, but it's okay. Right? One, two, three. Oh my goodness, my brain. Okay. Rinse, 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 rinse. Next color. I said that I would wake up here soon. I promised that I would wake up soon. Okay, the next color is a blue-green mix. So you're going to take some of this dark blue and some of this green and mix these two together. You can take a tiny little bit of white, which I just added a lot, so we're going to darken this up again. See that color I made right there? little bit of phalo green, a little bit of phalo blue, mix it together. There's actually more green in this layer than blue. So next it's a straight line, straight line. We're going to go right over our boo-boo. And fill that in. Straight across. Like, this is not green enough, so I'm just going to take the straight green and just add it in there with the wet blue, and it's just going to help clean that all up and add that green in. You could let this dry and then add a whole nother layer in, and that would help with the texture look of it. So my next one is a little mountain. I'm actually going to switch brushes because I feel like I'm using that big one and it's just making me go big. So I'm going to switch to the mama brush. So this is gray, a little bit of black and a little bit of white, more white than black. And then this is a little mountain range. So we'll come down here go up a couple of cute little mountains and you're going to come across like this so more if you're having trouble doing the mountains you can always flip your canvas around and then look at it like V's so if you go V V 
then another. Then just fill it in. Don't forget about your sides. If you choose to do your sides, you don't have to. I didn't right here, but we're just going to throw some gray in there. It'll be great. It'll all work out. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Here's this. We got the, we have the gray on there now. I forgot that I was also doing Facebook Live over there. It's just on my like regular page, but it's funny because I forget and then I look over and I'm like, oh, there's my phone. <laughs> okay, rinse that off. So this next one is a mint green. It's gonna be mint green up here. You can even add a little bit of yellow to it if you want. So I just take that phthalo green, grab some of that white and put it in. I am gonna add a little yellow because it looks good. See how it made that minty green color right there? I'm gonna add a little bit more white to just soften it up. And then I'm just gonna fill all of this in. I went a little bit darker than the original painting, but that's okay. We're gonna add some uh, white over it. Go here, go here, and fill in right there. I better add white now. There we go. Way better. <laughs> this one is so pretty too. This painting, it's just fun and unique and it's a great gift to give someone because it kind of matches everyone's decor. Blues and you know, you can add the wave and then you have more coastal and it just looks good. Okay, rinse, rinse, rinse your brush. We're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna fan it just a quick minute. Doot, doot. So it dries, so it dries. We want it to dry. Let it dry. It's my singing all the time, all the time. If you watch some of the other ones, sometimes I sing other songs. I used to a lot. Now I try not to. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm not really a great singer. And you guys probably don't want to hear me sing. But I figure, what the heck, right? It helps us all get a little, what do they call those, earworms? When you have like something stuck in your head. Okay. This is all dry down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that black and blue again. I'm just going to hit it softly, softly. Low black, low blue. Oh, that's too much black, but that's okay. Just add a little blue on top. Same thing here. Just kind of feather it in. Perfect. We're gonna do this one all the way down here. It's almost like you're making a couple like quick little X's. I can show you too on the back of the canvas. I actually could show you on my hand too. Kind of like See how I did that? Just some quick little back and forths. Then we just wipe it off. <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy the things that I do. I just throw things on my hands. Okay, rinse that brush again. We're gonna fill in this little spot right here again. And we're gonna work on our wave and our sun. Oh, we have to put the white up here too. Okay, this one is some 
lighter with this more green. Oh, I went really blue with that. We want to go darker. Here we go. Oh, way too light. Way too light, kids. Let's go with this here. Kind of that same. We'll darken it up. Or if you love it, just leave it. We do that too. If you love it, leave it. If you're happy with it, don't touch anymore. Let's add some more green. Kind of like just messy. Again, do that same like technique where you're just making those quick little X's or dashes, whatever you want to call them. Rinse, 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 because now we're going to go into some white at the top. So make sure your brush is pretty clean for this step. I better put a little bit more white. Oh my goodness, is it clogged? I just need a little tiny bit. Sometimes when they get clogged, we have these little sticks that we push down. We dig out all the little paint yuckies. And if you don't get it on time, a lot of times it just explodes all over the place. And then you have a nice big giant mess. Okay. So let's do this where we Go like that, add the white, just like that. Okay? So if you want, you can go a little bit lighter green and white. This one has pretty big brush marks like this. Abby was just calling me. Maybe I didn't close the studio door and lock it. Whoops. I probably didn't. She's probably going to be like, what the heck, girl? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Let it dry. We need that to dry. Okay. Let's do our wave. Let's do our wave. Well, see, the thing, too, is that I forgot all the canvases. So she's probably trying to get a hold of me to find out what canvases I need. Just white, plain canvases. And hopefully she'll grab them and be able to just grab them. All right. Let's use that blue-green mix again. I really love that blue-green mix. My painting is a little bit wet here, so my suggestion for you at home would be to dry it, get it all nice and dry. Um, when I go to do this, it is going to pool a little bit of paint, but it's nothing to worry about. Yours would be dry. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm just going to bring my wave down. Okay, do that same thing again. I'm going to stay in this area, same little spot. Kind of goes down and around, huh? Then I'm going to come down, come down this way. Okay, grab some more blue and green. Let's mix this up. Let's get this thrown on here pretty quick. It's easy to, oh, I didn't pull a lot of paint. Good. If I'm light-handed, I won't pull a lot of paint. You can even grab some white and just start building it. Just because it adds some depth. 
Look at that. I almost messed it up. Just don't go fat here. So if you're gonna go thin, then you'll bring your fat wave part down this way. But you don't wanna get this all really fat with the blue because you're gonna add some white in there. That white will help build up the thickness of it. We're gonna let this dry a second and add a whole nother layer. So just make sure you got it on there nice. We'll come in and we'll put our sunshine on. Let's rinse, rinse, rinse. Get it nice and dry. I got some blue on my table. Whoops. White. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this here. This is gonna be my sun. I'm adding the white because when I put the yellow in the orange on, I would like it to not be so see-through. Rinse, rinse, rinse. I'm going to grab the teenage brush, this teenage brush now. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange, white, I'm sorry. I said it in my head. A little yellow little white. Again, you can let this dry in between. You can use a blow dryer. Whatever you would like. You can let it set and let it dry. Look at how cute that is. Once you get that on, you can let it dry and then add another layer too. It's okay to do that. Okay, rinse your brush again. We're gonna come back down into the wave. It dried a little bit. My water is so blue. It's okay. Now I have to use a little bit more of that white. Kind of nervous. We don't need it exploding. If it explodes right here, it's okay. We'll just clean it up. It doesn't hurt. A little bit of white paint. Look at how much slow it's coming out. There's like a big clog in there. We'll just leave that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna take a little bit of white and mix it with that blue. Super light, and then I'm just going to quick dash marks. You can even go outside the wave as well. Oop, that's a lot. You're just going to fill all of this in with white. Quick, quick dash marks. This is where you'll go a little bit bigger too with your wave if you want. Kind of pull a little out on the side. Perfect. Fill all of this in. You see how it's just building layers? That's all we're doing. Throw a couple out here. Maybe a couple here. Pull some here. If you can't get the angle right, just flip your canvas. It helps. We do this in when we're doing classes all the time where we teach people, we tell them, move your canvas around, flip it to the side. There's no right or wrong way. You can do this however you are comfortable. Fill it all in as much as you want with the white. You don't have to go too crazy. You can even just kind of change it up by adding some lighter green if you wanted. Or if you wanted to go more blue, you could add some more blue in there. Bring it out on top of some of this. Maybe some dark blues. It's up to you. Again, no right or wrong way. It's whatever colors you love. 
You could even do a purple wave if you wanted to. That would look kind of neat. I'm going to flip this around just so I can kind of angle my wave. And just like that, friends, we have an entire painting. My wave looks a little skinny, so I'm just going to fill in over here. Maybe do some more of that color. It's hard for me to see the angle at this, so I have to like look in the monitor, but it looks good. <laughs> it's looking good. Thicken this guy up a little. We'll bring him down this way a little. Throw in a little bit more white. Make it nice and thick. Rinse my brush, add that second layer of yellow or orange, and then we get to sign it. This is so fast. Like, boom, brighten up that sun. What you'll do next is, we're running out of time, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to take gold and you will outline your painting with the gold. I just use a gold pen, so you would just come along on all of these and just outline it. My pen is not working. There we go. You would just outline. All right. Super easy, super fun, and voila. Sign it and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next show. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.